Hi, and welcome to episode two of Honda Wanda. Uh, today, we're in Gloucester. I put a poll up on my Instagram, uh, and some of my followers chose Gloucester as our destination. So, uh, uh, anyway, it's raining, which is apt, because Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a show. Anyway, you know, you get the idea. Bloody hell, what am I doing? Just warming her up. I think it's gonna be a pretty damp day. I've had to uh, stop to celebrate this fact that my little Honda has done 1,000 miles and each one of those 1,000 miles a pleasure. Smiles for miles. So I found some suitable parking for the PCX. And don't she look cute next to a Bergman? Yes. Right, let's find the cathedral. Right, I've only been in Gloucester for a few minutes. And already I'm spotting some oddities. Take a look at this. A tree that has buttocks. Take a look at those buns. Right, I'm after this silliness. Onwards. So, I finally made it to Glossy Cathedral in all its majesty. Look at it. Beautiful. And thankfully it's open because it's uh, just started uh, raining quite heavily. So, glad to get in. And what's changed since the last time I was here? There's a, on College Green, which is just here, there's a, a garden that's been created. And if you from the air, it's basically a, a Fibonacci spiral. So. One thing you notice as soon as you step into the cathedral is the amount of stained glass windows. They are absolutely majestic.
many stained glass windows. The one part of Gloucester Cathedral that I absolutely adore is the, the cloisters. As you can see, they're uh, fantastic with their Gothic style vaulted ceilings. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And the, the little alcove, so you can imagine the medieval time system. There are benches along here, there is benches all the way along there, but you can imagine um, the medieval time of reading, studying, being scholarly. Um, yeah, it's a very, very special space. Tells me there's a cafe. This is what they call the, the secret garden, and it's set within the quadrant of cloisters. Quadrant, I'm not sure if that's the right word. It's uh, on all four sides, it's surrounded by cloisters. Um, in the middle, there's a, a water fountain. It's surrounded by beautiful, beautiful trees. Look at these snowdrops. I've come out here because at midday they're going to be sounding the, the bells, ringing the bells for um, for Ukraine. So uh, I thought it'd be nice to come out here. It's just before just before 12 now, so I thought I'd come out and um, be able to hear them. It should be good. Slava Ukraine. Hotel, yay! So there's one thing quite obvious, we're in the middle of the cosmo Philly cosmopolitan city, Gloucester, and that's very big. And noisy too, um, what with the docks and things like that around. But within this garden, because you're surrounded by the cloisters and the, and the cathedral itself, it's so peaceful. It's beautifully quiet. And I'm the only one making a racket. Sorry. Easter post box, probably the best post box I've ever seen. So that was Gloucester Cathedral. Onward.
So here's an old sand dredge, it's used to uh, dredge the bottom of the Severn and the dock. And this is the National Waterways Museum. At Gloucester Docks, um, it's surrounded by Victorian warehouses. And during the Victorian period, these would have um, imported and exported textiles, cotton, spices, teas, coffees, um, materials needed for industry. Little known fact that um, it's Britain's most inland harbour or dock port. So, yeah, which is um, quite weird. Considering it's almost seven, you think it'd be close to the sea, but no. There used to be a big shopping outlet here. Um, 90s, I think, and early 2000s, um, and the rest were all um, warehouses. But that's all given away now to restaurants. It's a really big development here. So there's a lot of restaurants. Um, basically, all these here are all restaurants. Um, and there's a few restaurants over the way. But um, imagine in the summer, summer evenings, would be quite a, a nice, nice place to visit. Couple of bistros, nice bars. But yeah, plenty of historic shit still here. And a few galleons over there. Fancy that one as a pirate ship. Mm. Yeah, worth a visit. So that's it. Episode two done. Really. It's probably going to be a longer one than I expected or hoped for, but um, and I hope it's not been too boring for you, but just to see, you know, getting out for the day and um, finding, finding new places and spaces. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for coming along. Can't think of a nicer place to, to have me lunch. <laughs>